that's one of the things that holds me back because I have put, like you said, way too many hours into this. It it has been years that I have put into figuring all of this stuff out, you know, and coming up with the method that is just going to allow, allow me to set up my Mac, a new Mac fast, right? right and right. I know that Nix is going to be even more difficult than Neovim. And Neovim has been a pain in the deep. You know what? Yeah. So... I'm scared, actually. I'm yeah. scared because it's yeah. going to be a time sink, I think. I'm not sure. But I know that it will be a long time and it's just going to be months of work. Yep. Yep. Well, because we're in 2077, right? So you figure, like, let's say let's say you get to a situation where you're less busy, maybe in 2090 or something. Uh -huh. I think you're probably going to love, I mean, because Nix will be the only operating system at that <laughs> time. So you'll be, you'll be forced to adopt it, right? Uh -huh. So. And I think by the time it gets to that point, you won't have a choice, but you'll be ready for it. You know what I mean? Because you'll yeah. have me as a resource, you'll have Vim Joy, or you're like you'll have other people out there as resources to just get you involved. Mm -hmm. So I mean, <laughs> happy to help you out <laughs> as needed. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I think in general for people that like have a little bit more time, because I know you're like super hyper focused on like productivity and stuff, and I don't know, I I, I think you have like barely any free time, right? Am I fair to say? Fair to say that? Yeah, correct. With work-related stuff, I just started working at a new company. I have to do the videos, yeah. interviews, editing, a lot of stuff. So I don't have a lot of time, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, you should spend your free time on stuff you enjoy. And if if the thought of you know ricing a Nix compilation or whatever, like it doesn't sound fun to you, don't even touch it. Yeah, but um, but I think for personal like personal recommendation to everybody else. I would say, yeah, it's absolutely worth the hype because of three different things. I think like number one is that it's agnostic to the operating system. Kind of, as you said, like you can use Nix packages on any operating system. So that's part, that's part one. Number two, I think is more so because it's declarative, like it's a declarative operating system, like you said already too. So this helps like if you have multiple machines and you have like a setup that works for you and you know it, you can always just take that, that config file, that repo and drop it into like drop it into another machine and it'll be exactly as you expect, right? Or you can give it to somebody else and say, hey, this is my operating system and it's just a Nix flake or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And so that I think is the future. And then I guess part 2A or 2B, if you will, because there's three parts, is that it's a kind of a, it's like a, it's like if Arch and Debian had a son, that it would be NixOS, right? That would be, you know, Debian is the king of stability. Arch is the king of bleeding edge. You combine that and you get Nix. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. But um yeah, number three is Nix development, like Nix shells. And I think we're going to get into that a little bit later because like I have a demo later for you and I'll show you kind of like instead of just talking about it, I'll just show it to you later. But yeah, 